Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and Matt. Hello. And welcome back to my channel. Um, in this video, we're going to be talking some Seeking Sister Wives, specifically Garrick, Danielle, and Roberta. They have all reconvened in Mexico. Um, they're going to be looking at wedding venues. And this is the first time that they have seen each other in a year. So what were your thoughts? Uh, where to begin? I'm the big sister. <laughs> okay, so we took we took a couple weeks off um, because it's just it's difficult to have both of us in here at the same time because we live in Florida, so we don't have our families around. So one of us typically needs to be well, typically always <laughs> needs to be Some, watching our daughter. <laughs> sometimes she can hang out on her own. <laughs> And usually we have to wait for nap time to sneak away and film these videos. So it's been a couple weeks. Yep. So they got divorced. They arrived in Mexico a couple weeks ago. And uh, Danielle gets the super affectionate nickname, The Big Wife. <laughs> the, the Big Wife. <laughs> yeah. Matt, you're 6'6". You're six, six. So you're 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 always big guy and yep. stuff been, like that. I've been a hey, big guy my whole life, I, even when I was young, you know. And I call like like uh, my friends' kids, I'm like, hey, big guy, you know, something like that. That's pretty common in a in... Right, to like maybe like a big brother, like if, it, if right. they're the big brother, yeah. call them big guy. It is not an affectionate nickname. Hey there, big girl. For a woman <laughs> <laughs> or a or a wife, it's just. Maybe something's different if you're a sister wife. And she's like a whole, <laughs> maybe two inches taller than Roberta. They're she's both not tiny enormous. People. It, it, if you hear someone referred to as the big wife, you're thinking about like, oh, this is, you know, and not not fat shaming or anything, but you're like, this is a bigger person. These I are was going to say, like, okay, if it was me next to Roberta, I could be the big wife. <laughs> no. Well, fuck, he'd probably call me Sasquatch compared to Roberta, but. Um, <laughs> no, it's it's. We affectionately call her the big wife. <laughs> but, oh emotions. my God, everybody online just was like, oh, and then the whole calling, referring to, he really only refers to Danielle as sister. He never well, refers to because, Roberta as sister. And because it's very clear that the dynamic of the relationship has changed where the primary wife is um, what, uh, Berta. No, right. well, Berta's the sister wife. Yeah, right, the primary wife. But now she's wife, yeah. going to be the primary wife. That's everything now is going to be focused on her. And now, I mean, we saw Danielle had to sleep in her, or supposedly We're get to that. in her own yeah. room. But like, everything is going to be about the two of these people. Now they're going to be celebrating their happy marriage, all their, all their new experiences as a new marriage. And so mm -hmm. and there's no way, first of all, I've already said there's no way that you can compartmentalize, in my, in my opinion, two wives equally you just can't i don't think it's possible but let alone one one you had a 13 year relationship and now you have a fresh new relationship with a young person who's completely reliant on you it's going to be all about the two of them and then danielle sadly has to sit there and watch as that happens yeah. i think in order for a polygamous or a polyamorous relationship to work all, all sides need to want it equally. It I think better, it has to yeah. start there. Yeah. Then I think that you really have to change your just human nature because like jealousy, I think I really is a human. It. It's, it's such a human emotion. And to overcome that in order to participate healthily in a plural relationship is not easily done. I know it can be successfully done, but we don't see it on this show. Well, Maybe with where, the Winders. That's but. where, yeah, and that's where you have to be like, this guy has no emotions because he could just swing from one person to the next one. You know, God chose him to have another wife after 13 years. No, that sounds like a guy who just doesn't want to, you know, go through the painful divorce with the kids and everything. So we'll do a real quick write up. And but it's okay, sister wife. <laughs> it's wild to me that one Garrick. So Danielle's family is is trying their best. You can tell they're they're trying to be supportive, understanding or support as best they can. Well, and it's because his family completely wrote him off, and I think and they, he's the one who's the driving force of this. Yeah. This is so weird. You just lost your entire family 
it's it's very clear that to, that's not his yeah. that he's not family centric whatsoever. He's self centered. It's everything's about him. So if he, I think it's clearly not about religion. No, and his, I think I people hide behind religion for a multitude of different things. But it's it's clear that it's one hundred percent selfish. He, mm-hmm. he his family disowned him. Oh, it's their loss. They obviously are I'm I'm good. They're they're the ones who have the problem. Uh his uh, his wife is mad at him. It's always gonna be well, it's her problem. You know, she's yeah. got the issue. I don't have any issues. I'm a perfect perfect human being. You know, look at me. I also have emotions about things. <laughs> <laughs> um what did you think a lot this struck a lot of people in this last episode because the last episode of seeking sister wife opens with danielle's empty bed so <laughs> then cut to the three of them in bed together and it comes out that roberta was feeling really bad and went and insisted on getting Danielle, and they stayed up talking till two o'clock in the morning. And she's not the problem. Much to Garrett's like, chagrin, the, I'm sure. Berta seems to be the only calming force in this. Like she sees empathy. Like she, it's not. She's riding on this for a green card or whatever, mm-hmm. and and so she's got her reasons for wanting to do it. And if she wants to be a polygamist, and that's really what she wants, that's fine. Not sure. I'm not even sure because we haven't really established like. If she is super interested in living in America, so yeah. her motivation oh. there is not really clear. But um, she, her thing was, she said that she read a lot, or she was interested in like plural dating, and then she, she learned about Mormon Mormons, yeah, yeah, and and so it seemed like for her, it's like an abundance of love and. She is so bubbly and sweet. Yeah, she, I think, she, she's I, think she, I think there are genuine um I think her intent is genuine. Right. No, I'm not right. Yeah, maybe yeah. okay. So but I mean her relationship to Danielle is like they are very she friendly. cares like, yeah, she care. cares a yeah. whole lot more about Danielle than Garrick does. Right. Now let's talk about the fact that this is what has kind of really thrown a lot of people because Garrick this is he was called by God to live this plural lifestyle which is equal love amongst people right and you know they they don't believe in intimacy before marriage and blah 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 but so the the plan is Mm -hmm. while they're in Mexico for um, him to spend all eight nights with Roberta and Danielle chilling in her own little room on the other side of the wall so they, she can hear them bang it out. Oh, every but they night. can't do that, babe, because it's against. It's well, the same God well, that now, told them to have multiple marriages. <laughs> well, now their intention is clear. So now they're that they're betrothed, they're engaged. I think he can make an exception, but Garrick. There's gray areas. Yeah, Garrick is all boo hurt that Roberta wants uh, Danielle to come over because she's concerned about her, but. In the span that it takes, Robert, or I'm was sorry, it, it Danielle was to change to, out of her pajamas, or in to the morning. grab something. No, it, it, it was to go in the other room, do something that takes very little time, and, and then come, come back. back. <laughs> they were able to bang it out so, behind her back, and she doesn't know, and he's giggling about it the next. Well, time. yeah, and so that's where I come at the whole. If you, for if you're an equal marriage, you get it. Okay, you're going. Obviously, they know there's going to be intimacy, Danielle, but now you're hiding it from your first wife. Right, that's you're, deception. Right, and that's also isn't that a commandment? That's a commandment. Thou shalt not lie. I don't know if those... Bear false witness. Yeah, I don't know if those commandments... Because it also says... Is that in the Constitution, maybe? in the Constitution. <laughs> well, you're breaking the law. Well, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not sure about Mormons and the Ten Commandments because they're multiple marriage But they're not Mormon. Well, isn't he Mormon? No. Oh, so it was That's just a religious thing. thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. sorry. So that's yeah. where I was confused. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't know. That's, I think they're breaking a lot of commandments, but... Yeah, yeah also, and the Constitution. And the Constitution. <laughs> well, the Bill of Rights. Why not? He's going to have to plead the fifth. Um, but this also is another thing where I'm adding on to his selfish. No, let's just be real. There's no way that he satisfied more than himself in that small marathon session that he had. So I yeah. just, you know, typically, and you're, you're, you're a guy. <laughs> I am. I don't, correct me if I'm wrong, but usually you... Over um, sell how uh, <laughs> your stamina is yeah. that fair to say? Sure. You yeah. Think about baseball. You think, you think about, about yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I think he might be the first person in history to. 
I mean, this be is so excited about finishing so quickly. So yeah, let's be real. So you want to come out at the beginning, you, you ballpark. You're like, oh yeah, it's it's gonna be. I'm so good. Hours, but hours. Is, We're this, just gonna. I'm gonna liken this to Baba Booey throwing out the first pitch, and it was just. This is the per perfect uh, execution of your strength. It was the worst thing. He threw it like into the crowd. This is a and, Howard Stern guy. Yeah. Okay. And, and if anybody knows Howard Stern, yeah. this is a, he threw a pitch. It was horrible. They still, it was thirty years ago. They still make fun of him today. And so that's his opener. Is this pitch? He yeah. has this horrible quick session, yeah. and so you're really setting yourself up to be. You can only go higher. Yeah. <laughs> I guess. I guess. Um, under. Undersell, over deliver. <laughs> Undersell, <maybe>. overwhelm. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's his. I don't know what his strategy is, but well, I. Well, it's just, I think it's all about him. It's it's just oh, like, yeah. and so he, once he's done, he's like, oh, cool, that's it. And uh, <laughs> you won't tell sister. <laughs> like, it's, he's like a Disney villain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the bad guy. Yeah, like, Except for we knew he was the bad guy the whole time. It's just, I, I feel so bad. I, and, you know, a couple people have commented on some of my videos about the Merrifields that they know them and that they're lovely people and that Danielle's not going anywhere so no, um, it's clear Danielle's not going anywhere because if she had the wherewithal to do that she would have done that a long time this ago this is a very toxic relationship dynamic and with having two teenage boys in the house this is how you're going to show them how to treat their significant other? Yeah, I just don't... And, and again, it's not something that all parties were entered into originally at the beginning of their marriage and their relationship. Yeah. Like, it, okay, so the the other couples that have kids, at least those kids, they, they grew up around people who were... This is all of them were doing well, the same Well, with the thing. Winders. Yeah. yeah. And, and with the Winders, the intention was always have multiple right. wives. Same with the Snowdens. You know, and we can criticize how quickly the Snowdens kind of just throw their kids at potential sister wives. Right, it's that's, a little that's a alarming. Little much, but but, um, but yeah, it, it was always the intent. These kids never knew. Oh, they're, and Danielle they're, they're, never knew. I mean, I'm not going to say that maybe they're, they're not grown-ass kids, but they're, they're, they're old teenagers, enough. They're old enough to be and like... And they're coming into the time where they're going to start dating and to where, have that... Are they in Utah? No, they're in Colorado. They're in Colorado. So it's like, that's not the kind of thing, like, if they're in Utah, at least plural marriage is a thing that people like are pretty... Like, super common. Pretty, uh, common. Or, or, well, it's actually like... It's illegal, yeah. but it's that's where the Mormon church you is. You know and, about and, it, yeah. And so, like, at least that's normalized there for the most part. It's not legal, and I, you know, don't quote me on that, I guess, but in Colorado, I don't think it's as common. So... If they go into it's like, hey, uh, this is my girlfriend. Oh, this is my sister girlfriend. That's not a yeah, thing. No, yeah. no one's gonna be okay with that. Yeah. I don't know if that is even how. I don't. Th I don't know if you can date multiple people at the same time, or if you have to be married to one and then you seek out the second one, or if there's no. I don't. There's all kinds of things I don't know about. Well, there's marriage. so many questions. Plus, there's so many questions we don't know. This was clearly shot a while ago. This was shot pre-pandemic. Right. So we don't know what the status is of Roberta's K-1 visa. Well, that... Because yeah. there's a lot... You know, you have to, like, provide proof of your relationship. You know, like we know from 90 Day Fiance. There's a lot of questions. And, you know, they're supposed to suss out fraud is the intention of, of all these interviews. Which, I mean, I don't think I would call this marriage fraud, but I no, do but, think it's, uh, it's, it's how a are they going to explain? How are they going to explain Danielle still, still cohabitating with her ex-husband? No, I know. I don't There's know. Is that allowed? There's so many questions of if Roberta is even going to be able to get a visa. Well, don't worry. They're just going to up and move to uh to another country, another country. Bra maybe Brazil, to yeah. Brazil, yeah. Who like, knows? It's like, okay, well, you're from here, we're from here. How about we all just move in the middle where we know nobody and don't speak to and, and, you know, we can speak to the fact that we're here without either side of our family. And yeah. we're just in Florida. So it's a five-hour flight to L.A. It's, what, so three, it's three or five four, hour flight five to hours Boston to Boston. Yeah. And it is incredibly difficult to not have that just physical daily support. Especially or, having young kids. Or and, even a babysitter. Or even a babysitter <laughs> for a night out. Um, so it's incredibly difficult. I can't imagine. And then adding like... Language barrier. Language barrier. Not having a job set, set up down there. Like... Yeah, I moving. get the feeling whatever... I forget what he does actually. I don't know but what he does. maybe he can do it remotely. Whatever he does is overshadowed by his glamouring personality. Oh, he is a... He is a hoot. He is a riot. <laughs> he commands the room. Pictionary with him must be amazing. 
<laughs> I'm acting out. <laughs> Can you guess? Two words. <laughs> Movie. <laughs> it's like, okay, cool. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. I feel like he's also one of those people that instead of laughing, he only says, that's very funny. Oh, I hate, oh, yeah, I hate. Like, there, there was a whole Seinfeld episode about that. But, like, yeah, I don't... No, I just, that's hysterical, but it's like they don't actually But I mean, you're not laughing. Yeah. Like, yeah. If you want to see a comedy show, like, that's funny. Yeah. That's funny, also. <laughs> it's so funny that that was funny. But, yeah, I don't know. I just don't... I don't think he has just... He's got a personality disorder, I think. But this is yeah. my, my opinion on it. I just don't know what... It, he just seems so... Un cold and unfeeling wouldn't even begin to describe All I how know he feels is about that... Danielle, but he's super stoked uh, with Verna. Like, so that's why I'm saying the whole relationship is shifting over to her being oh, yeah. primary wife, secondary wife, and that's just how it's going to be. Big little, yeah, and tiny, they, big they, tiny. They've already literally named her as like there's yeah. the big dipper and the little dipper. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, Bigfoot and you know little little Peter Rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> what a little foot, the tiny, or li tiny big foot, little foot from, from the uh, Aww, Land Before Time. <laughs> oh, like that movie. Well, Matt, thanks for joining me to give me your thoughts and to give the people your thoughts. I hope I shed some light on what it's like to be a man. <laughs> <laughs> You are my go-to for, 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 man things. for what it's like to be a man. <laughs> well, I had a good time. I appreciate you guys uh, listening to what I have to say. I host a podcast for dads called Dad Adventures in Parenting. we got a new episode coming out as we record this. I'll be recording mine later. Again, how difficult it is to get time. Um, i got an hour to record mine. She yeah. takes her videos. It's crazy. It's but crazy. You, you can find me wherever podcasts are found at Dad Adventures in Parenting. And I had a good time. Thank you. Thanks, babe. Love you. Love you. All right, you guys, make sure you like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad. What is your um, Instagram? Dadventures IP on everything. And then Gmail is dadventuresimperating at gmail.com. Awesome. All right, you guys, take care. Have a good one. We'll see you in the next video. Much love. Bye-bye.